Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for your time here at Arya Pratiniti Sabha. Uh, so everyone knows what mathematics is, but today's presentation is not about mathematics. It is about what Vedic mathematics is. So uh, Vedic mathematics is an ancient system of mathematics that was rediscovered from the Vedas. Uh, it is a collection of 16 sutras or formula and 13 sub-sutras or sub-formula. This can be applied to arithmetic, algebra, and uh, geometry to solve all mathematical problems. Uh, this is world's easiest and fastest mathematical method to learn. Uh, Swami Sri Bharti Krishna Tirthaji Maharaj found this 16 sutras from Vedas. He studied Vedas for eight years and found these sutras from the Vedas and then he wrote it in the book called Vedic Mathematics. These are the 16 sutras with their, uh, with their English meaning. Uh, we are gonna look at one of the sutras to understand how easy it is to learn Vedic Mathematics. So, uh, we are gonna uh, take a look on one of the sutras. Sutra, sutra's name is uh, Nikhilam Navatascharam Dashata. Uh, in English translation is all from nine and last from ten. This sutra can be applied to multiply two numbers which are near to ten, hundred or one thousand. In short, uh, if two numbers are near to the power of 10, you can apply this sutra to multiply those two numbers. Uh, we are gonna take a look at one of the example to see how, uh, how this method works and how easy it is to learn. So the first example, uh, we are gonna take first example on your uh, left side, uh, 99 multiplied by 97. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna ask you one question, how uh, 99 is how much less by 100? One, right? So we're gonna put one on the right side of the red line. So 99 is one less, so we put one over there. Uh, 97 is how much less by 100? Three, right? So we are gonna put three uh, uh, on underneath, near to 97 on the right side. Then we're gonna multiply it one, two, three. So when you multiply one, two, three, how much? Three, right? So we're gonna put three down there and we're gonna put zero as well because zero was there too. So in this method, we uh, multiply it vertically. So we got zero, three on the right hand side. Now step two is we subtract diagonally we can either do 97 minus one or 99 minus three. Both gonna give us the same answer. So what's 97 minus one? 96, right? So we put 96 there on the left side and your answer would be 9603. That's your answer. That's how is easy it is. Okay, uh, so I believe you understand it. Thank you. So I believe you understand it a little bit. Let's take one more example. Uh, so I can see that you understand it or not, okay? So let's do 98 multiplied by 96, okay? What's the first step? First step is 98 is how much less by 100? Two, right? So we're gonna put two on your right hand side. 96 is how much less by 100? Four, so you're gonna put four on your right side. What is two multiplied by four? Eight. So we're gonna put eight down there. Uh, what is 98 minus four? Uh, it's 94. So we're gonna put 94 over there. Your answer is 9408. So yes. Uh, that's, that's how easy it is to understand it. If you don't believe it, you can uh, do it in your calculator, make sure I'm correct or not, okay? Uh, so this sutra is particularly applied to multiply two numbers which are near to 10, uh, 100, or 1000. But there are 15 more sutras that can be applied to solve different kind of mathematical problems. These sutras you can apply in all kind of maths. I mean, 
arithmetic, algebra, geometry, you name it. You can apply this sutra and uh, very easily get the answers. So why should you learn Vedic mathematics? One of the benefits you just understand is how easy it is to learn. Uh, you all learn this in maybe one minute, I would say. Uh, so this method is 10 to 15 times faster, to, uh, faster than Western method. Uh, another thing is it's very easy to understand and apply that you all know by experience. Uh, it's, it also sharpens your mind because you will not be doing any rough work in the paper. You will uh, be doing all this in your mind. So it's going to sharpen your mind as well. It improves memory and uh, boosts self-confidence. And of course, it increases speed and accuracy. And that is why it is said that Vedic mathematics is a magic until you understand it and mathematics thereafter. So uh, thank you, thank you all uh, for listening to me. Thanks. <laughs>